nothing against Jesus, but in a large way, it has affected a lot of people's mentality when it comes to what God is. Because Jesus has been coined as the Son of God, people unfortunately are liable to and obviously have considered God to be like an older version of Jesus. A very wise old man, sort of in the same kind of cloak with a shepherd's cane or something like that, looking over us or something. With his hands in prayer formation or something like that, which is sort of just ridiculously funny. Now, if you think about it, at any age, it's just ridiculously funny to think of God as some wise old man with his hands in prayer formation looking over us. You know, even things like South Park, you know, uh, show Satan versus Jesus because they have to have a representative of God and they, you can't put God into a form although every form is God and God is every form and then some so God is way bigger than that because then you go into any I can't say any but a lot of studies of spirituality and religions will say stuff like uh, in theology you have uh, God and the devil but the devil is just the opposite of what God is, an idea. Like, hey, when people say God and the devil, they're putting them into physical forms or even ideal forms. But there, there need be no form to God and the devil because they're the same thing. It's just by looking at something in a totally negative way, it seems to be the devil, and looking at something in a totally positive way, it seems to be God. But God is the allowance of both things because you and your mind make it good or bad. And us in our minds throughout time have made things either really gory and grotesque or overly holy and divine. And we've done that with our thinking and with our habits. But on the whole, we shouldn't have in any way turned God into a human being who is... You know, they say that man is, the, you know, God, we are the, the likeness of man or something like that. I don't know exactly what the words are right now because I'm sort of sleepy. But I know that it's very important to get this down because people have it so confused. It's hard to look at it and, and not laugh at people who are grown adults who don't have any real idea what God is. It's not a physical thing. And if they have to know that. They have to completely know that. There's You're not going to die and, and see some dude in a throne. You know, you may envision one, but you're not going to see it. It's not really going to be there, like, physically. It's going to be whatever you see it to be. The magic of it is that it comes to you however you believe it to be. And when I say believe it, that's where belief gets all miscued too. And people say belief isn't, it's not about belief, it's way more than that. And I'm like, yeah, well, belief is way more than you think it is. Belief is like when someone tells you a story and you're like, sure, I believe you. But deep down inside you, you don't know if you completely do. Like, beyond belief is whether you say you believe it or not, it's what you think about it when you look at a pile of snow and say it's a pile of snow, you believe it's a pile of snow, you don't have to say yes or no, I believe. It's just deep down in your heart and soul. It's what you were ingrained with, that it just is what it is. And that's what real belief is. And you have to try to ingrain those things in your mind through repetition to get them to change. And if you keep thinking that everything's horrible and violent, then that's the big thing we have. Like The problem with people is if they do completely realize that we create our world they'll realize that if they keep fearing that if everyone knew that the world could be horrible because people could take advantage of it, then they're going to keep thinking along the same lines and it's going to keep being this way. So the approach is very important and that's why I've been taking my time and doing it in such an odd way. But it's a, it's a daily positive struggle. It's not a negative struggle. It's not even a struggle. It's a daily... I don't know what the word would be. It never goes away. 
it ever, never, ever, ever goes away. And I can't just go back to the same old things anymore. I can't go back to any popular idea or conversation or topic because they're unimportant. All that's important is that people understand where we are. Like, we don't just go there when we die. We're there right now. So that's the thing, is we're actually not just here. We're everywhere. And that sounds like magical and mystical, but it's not as mystical. It's not even... It's, a, it's as mystical as the wind blowing. Because that's part of us, too. It's just our... amazing natural occurrences happening. They don't need to be explained. They just need to be believed in and increased upon. And we can do that once we get it. And then through each life, through each death, through each life, through each death, it will be magic and bliss. And after a while, people will be like, magic and bliss isn't fun without a little bit of turmoil. But it would be because we'd, have, we'd look for new things to do and we would have plenty of new things to do because when you have new ingredients, you have new ways to change around and mix and match those ingredients. So once you make another new thing, you have new things to change and mix around. Once you start using thought and creativity, you have new things to mix around. And there's billions of people, so we have tons of ideas to mix around. And that's what we should be doing. We shouldn't be contrasting and fighting over which one should be here. We should allow them. I mean, we need to remove some people who want to keep drawing gory, grotesque things because that's not helping anything and it won't help anything for this period of time for the next decade or two we can get those out of our system and use them for educational purposes but eventually those won't be there anyway because people won't want to celebrate gore and, and grotesqueness they just won't and that's good it's not a bad thing it can st it'll still be here because it's in our so-called past in our memories, because it's on tons of DVDs and VHSs and, you know, wave files all over the place for all those horror movies and action movies and grotesque things and lustful, rude, horrible things that we have. Like, those things are still there for educational purposes. You have to look at it as like that instead of looking at it as like, oh my God, look at what these people are doing. But at the same time, if you put nothing but that in your mind, that increases the likeliness of our future being that. And that's what's happening, is people are putting too much of that, that kind of thing in their mind all the time. And nothing about love, nothing about understanding, nothing about God. And I know that sounds stupid and sissy to say people need to start focusing on what God is, but they do, if they want to make the world the best it could be instead of living in the material world and forgetting what we're really doing. But that's the problem. And it's actually the blessing. It's the whole, it's, it's the lesson we're learning. Anyway, peace out. I love you guys.